Hello guys, how are you doing? So, I'm going to watch episode 5 of volume 9 of Ruby today. And I'm looking forward to see what's going to happen next after um, this uh, bit of a scary moment between the girls and um, that other guy. Um, and uh, that was uh, that was something. I mean, seeing him creating these sort of uh, illusions of um, these girls when they were um, uh, younger, it was like it was really cool to see like them in front of each other. That's uh, for sure. Like seeing uh, the one in the present time and then how they were um, back in uh, like volume uh, volume one. Um, but um, in the end, it was still. Um, it was still rough um, on them, like they were kind of trying to make them uh, give up. So that was something um, that made me worried, but um, thankfully, uh, Weiss, Blake and Yang, they were able to deal with this situation pretty well and they were they were like um, quite mentally strong, so they weren't um, going to like go with that and like they, they are not giving up, which is really important. Um, but then with Ruby, that was um, it was a bit more complicated because it's it's I don't want to say that it's uh, like a lot different with her, but uh, it's uh, it's definitely like I don't know I I guess I could say it's uh, different, but of course all of them are still uh, suffering in their own way and dealing with uh, their own um, emotions. So it's um, a really complicated situation for um, all four of them and. Uh, this, um, it really feels like this place is going to test their mental strength uh, um, quite uh, a lot, so hopefully they will be able to overcome this and return to their um, own world um, much stronger uh, than before, and not just uh, like physically, like I said, they really need this, uh, this mental strength, they need to be like... Um, focus on what they need to do, they can't uh, give up no matter what, like they they can't start thinking that um, they're not doing it right or something like that, they need to believe in themselves, I mean it's, it's impossible to know if um, your decisions are going to be right um, or wrong, I mean you need to take a chance and uh, you need to see by yourself like you can see the future so they're, they're going to have to try their best most of all um, but yeah, either way, just uh, really curious to see um, what uh, is going to happen now. I mean, there's still this, uh, this other situation with Neo and uh, how she was getting involved uh, with uh, uh, that creature from before. I wonder when they're going to uh, show that uh, in more detail. But yeah, really can't wait to start watching this um, episode. So, hope you guys are ready and let's do it. Yeah, this volume is um, is becoming really deep. There isn't like um, as much action as in previous ones, most likely. But there's a lot of um, character development. That's something I really like. Yeah, Ruby. And I mean, the reason I was saying it could be like different with her because of like everything that's been happening with her. Of course, like as I said, it's been the case with all of them. Each of them in their own personal situation. But like more recently, Ruby having lost Penny again and then coming to this place and seeing one of her blades and still like thinking about her world, what's currently going on and it's more about that pressure because I don't know if I should say that she's like the key to defeat Salem because of her power, but it's uh, it's really complicated with her. I 
there's a lot of pressure. The four of you are still the four of you. Not always the case in the ever after. You're the one who ditched us in the first place. Which, by the way, was how we ended up in that mushroom house to begin with. You know, where that delirious caterpillar guy tried to drug us and then was swallowed up by a freaking hole in the ground? Ah, yes, yes. Alex had a similar reaction the first time she saw someone return to the ever after. Ooh. But it's not how it seems. Well, I suppose it is. But not the way you think, if you think like Alex. Which it seems like you do. Hmm. And in the end, they didn't manage to make the... We're here. Oh, maybe it's going to happen now. I'm thinking about the potion to return them to their normal size. Guess this would be the place where they can make it. Going to explain to us how a giant caterpillar disappearing into a hole isn't how it's... Yeah, where did he go? When we break or wear out or simply finish what we were made to do, we're called back. But Herb, his heart was too weak to listen. So I gave him a little bit of mine. Hmm. Is he... dead? <laughs> no, no. Well, maybe a little bit. But not at all. Ugh, which is it? <laughs> He's scared. Um, now that Herb's properly returned, he'll be fixed up nice and made into the Herb he wanted to be when he was still Herb. Then he'll come back and find his purpose. It's going to be like reborn? Before, or maybe not. When Herb comes back, will he remember anything? <laughs> what would be the point of that? Hmm. Just like Alex, you lot. I know, I know where you're from, things die. But we're just not like you at all. We ascend. Herb will have a purpose again. That's impossible. Things have to die someday. Right? Well, mm. Goodness, no. Though I suppose there is a creature. I... No, no. That's not the sort of thing you talk about in polite company. What was he about to say? Wait, it made me think of that other guy. Is that what happened with Neo? Come on, try our mud cookies. They're delicious. It was all very sad. The Red King couldn't cope when he lost to Alex, a crying mess. Thankfully, he was called back and fixed up, and now he's the prince you met. Fixed up. Oh, it happened to him as well. The prince isn't supposed to be nice. He's meant to play the game and win. No matter what. Ooh. So that's why he cheats when the Red King didn't. But that still doesn't explain why the Red Prince was so much meaner. While the prince may not remember Alex's deception after ascending, the heart very rarely forgets. Hmm. But there was nothing about ascension in the story. Of course not! Exposition is terribly boring. Even this conversation was, on the whole, rather tedious. I wonder what else Alex left out. Well, to make a Grogut parfait, one needs a bushel of grumpy ivy, one good sized spicy potato, the lint off a griffin's sweater. Oh. Ethel's dragons and more should have that, which is right next to. I'll never remember all of that. No, <laughs> I can procure those. But there's another ingredient we must have that's only available on the third level. Some no third level. Oh. If you retrieve that while I go get the rest. Uh, sure, I, I guess so. Wonderful. Look for the teapot lady. She'll have it. Now off you go. Another adventure. <laughs> I guess I better go with the cat so they don't get distracted by a shiny doorknob and never come back. I'll go with you. <laughs> get me as far away as possible from any nose hairs, please. I'll go with you, Ruby. <sighs> so. Nice try, kitty. You're going to stay with him. So Ruby is going to be alone with 
the moles. I love how he's just walking in the air. He went to fall asleep again. <laughs> it's already happening. <laughs> there it is. Wait, what's happening? Oh, there's a sword again. The blade. Is this like an illusion? Does that one interest you? I... I thought this was lost forever. How do you have it? Who's that? No one is ever truly lost. Wait. Oh damn the reflection. Are you lost? No, no. I, I just my friends went somewhere else. You're doing this all alone? <sighs> Ruby, I don't think we're supposed to be here. Are you her guide, little one? Yes. Ruby is my friend, and I want to help her get home. Even though I don't know where that is or how to get there. Hmm. You seem to be carrying a rather large burden with you. Well... I'm fine. I can handle it. If you change your mind, you may choose any one of these you like. Set your burden down. Oh, I already have a weapon. I did, and yet here you are searching for something else that you do. She went to grab that one. I mean, it looks like a bit similar. <laughs> yeah, this one, like a sight as well. Did you retrieve Oh damn she was Come on try our mud cookies they're delicious don't want to miss them No I'm not even sure what exactly happened it was like an illusion I guess We got everything else She was like I'm sorry Is that the teapot lady I'm not even sure how to put it Mud cookies you've ever had That happened Oh can I Oh that's the one for nose hairs no, not the ogre ones. This guy. His fireworks. Man, that was a bit scary. Out of nowhere. It's saying danger. Oh, that's... Damn. This is exceedingly bad. Wait, what's a Jabberwalker? It's a truly terrible creature. That's crazy. The Jabberwalker eats one of us. We do not ascend. How do we make the parfait thing? Toss everything in here. I'm going to do it really fast now. Eat too much and we'll have to shrink you back again. And that's a completely different potion. That looks yummy. Oh, it's working. It wasn't enough. I guess I need to eat more. So that's the guy. Is that the same one or are there more? Wait, is he going to grow? 
Holy ease. That was bad. Run. What's he doing here? Who's that one? New to do for the moment. Now go. Your friends need to get big again, or we're Jabberwocker dinner. Oh damn! Who's that? On a deer or something? It's the rusted knight. Get the party! Oh. It's part of the the actual fairy tale. Uh, finally. Now they're ready. Oh the music. Ruby, follow me. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it is a beard. Wait, what's that? Wait, what? There's only supposed to be one. Is it Neo doing this? Wait, did she say Neo or something else? Ruby, come on. I saw something in the place where he died, but it's apparently one of those kind of lights. Like, hanging there. Damn, all these situations. After everything they... After everything they've been through, they still have to deal with this. More pain and suffering. It's really sad. Yeah. Really rough. I can't believe it. The rusted knight in person. Ooh. I guess she's a big fan. Ooh. Team Ruby. Oh, damn, he gives me Finally made it. some John vibes. Wait. What was that about? He knows about Team Ruby? Wait... What is that supposed to mean? I saw this resemblance that he kinda looks a bit like uh, John, but I guess older version or at least with a big beard I don't know. Oh, they're showing in more detail. It really looks like him, uh, uh, and also different uh, air style, of course. Use John as base. They even put that there. But I mean, I don't think he's going to have anything to. Like, he's not going to be related with John in any way, right? Just a similar appearance, I'm guessing. But it's still a bit um, weird to me that he knows about um, how they are Team Ruby. Like, maybe the next episode is going to explain this um, a bit better, but this is uh, quite uh, intriguing uh, uh, already. 
Um, but yeah, this episode ended up becoming uh, a lot crazier than I was expecting. Like, they were uh, just casually coming to this place in order to uh, return to their normal size. Um, but suddenly these guys started um, attacking and they, I think they mentioned their name. Or at least like... I'm trying to watch this again, the moment when they show up. So I don't think I heard it well. There's something Walker. Devil Walker or something? I'm not too sure, like it's really hard. There's also no English subtitles, so there's not, nothing much for me to go with. Um, but um, it's more uh, information about um, this specific creature and I don't know, I was like even um, like wondering uh, myself if there was only one guy, if, there, if the one I saw before was the only one um, in this world or if, or if there was more and uh, during this situation these people started um, uh, wondering, like I don't remember who exactly but they started like saying that there's more uh, than one, they were surprised by that so I'm not too sure if um, there wasn't supposed to be more than one, and maybe um, Neo is actually involved with this, because what we saw of Neo before, when um, she was like appearing and transforming into Ruby and, uh, and stuff, and uh, eventually saw this creature, she was also creating many of her. At some point, there was. Uh, I don't remember if it was a lot uh, of, um, of her or. Her as uh, Ruby. I just remember seeing a lot of um, clones, or so to say. Um, so I don't know if this is actually Neo using um, this power to, to to have a lot of them here. Like it's it's really hard for me to be sure about it. But hopefully, during these next episodes, uh, this uh, will become uh, more clear. Um, but yeah, it was definitely interesting to see everything that happened and uh, thankfully that potion uh, uh, worked so now they are back uh, um, to their normal size and they were able to defeat uh, one of them um, but in the end it's just um, it just really sucks for them to be in all of these situations uh, over and over again and uh, and it's not even um, their fault to begin with it's like no matter where they go there's always something uh, happening and um, even if they try to help it ends up uh, not being enough and like it just really sucks um, for them to never like uh, be like I don't know how to say this like I, I don't want to say that they aren't uh, like good enough to solve these situations or or, or, or anything but uh, it, it just really sucks that um, they are uh, like always here doing their own thing not, not like doing anything wrong in these places and then suddenly something just uh, breaks out and uh, they, they are being uh, attacked. So it's uh, it's definitely something. I mean, after everything that um, they went through at Atlas and uh, like pretty much during this whole story, even in this in this fairy tale, they find themselves in this uh, situation, seeing more destruction, more pain, and like uh, just like we uh, Weiss uh, said, seeing um, like. Like, um, all of the places where they go uh, in ashes after uh, they arrive there. So, again, it's uh, it's really rough on them. It's like I said before, they're going to, to have to be really strong uh, in terms of, like, like mentally, pretty much. But, yeah, it's uh, going to be interesting to see what they're going to do during these next moments and uh, also what this uh, rested night is uh, going to talk about because i'm like really curious uh, um, about um, this guy and uh, he might have uh, uh, some uh, like he might be really important for um, what's uh, to come so i want to know uh, or like i want to learn um, as much as possible about uh, him um but yeah Again, really enjoyed uh, watching um, this uh, episode and uh, can't wait to see what's going to happen during uh, the next one. So, with this, hope you guys enjoyed my reaction to this one. And if you did, please 
leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And you can also join my Discord and my Patreon if you want to get early access to my full reactions. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.